What's going on, YouTube? It's OK, Mom. We're back with episode 14 of our Arna Electromancy build. The objective today will be to find a tier 4 dungeon. I'm thinking either a human dungeon or a proselyte dungeon. Uh, both of them, honestly, scare the hell out of me. But it's going to be better, I think, than the undead. The undead, I can't really control them. They have a higher nature resistance. Um, They worry me, too. So I don't really know which route to take, which one's the the easier way to go. Uh, I know if we're taking on the, uh, the humans, there's a few things that I'm probably going to need to take. Under Magic Mastery, probably Dissipation. And under Armored Combat, probably Hard Target. But on all honesty, what I'm really thinking about doing is trying to get Seal of Cleansing as soon as possible. Because there's certain enemies, especially in the Proselyte Dungeon that we do not want them to get close. Um, namely, the uh, the Merc Stalkers. And if I can use Seal of Cleansing, I can take that off. But I am unsure, because I also want to finish off this entire tree here. And quite possibly, the next two level ups, we get potential difference into Ball Lightning just for a CC, because we are severely lacking in a crowd control ability. And that one might actually take us to where we need to be. And uh, let's face it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more level ups. And if I start moving points around to the other areas that we technically need, like hard targets and uh, dissipation to help with uh, the mages and the archers, we're going to be like level like almost 30. I don't know. It's, we got a long, long way to go. But... The first objective before we can even take that on is we have 10,000 gold. Uh, we're going to look into some rings and a and some boots. We're going to see what we can get our, our, our hands on. Um, probably replace one of these. Not too sure which. Uh, we'll go over to the jeweler first, see what kind of rings he has available. And then we'll pop in and talk to Kermit the Crab. And see what kind of boots he has available for us. Unless this guy's got something. Which, in that case, I'll double check. What do you got, my guy? Do you have boots? No. No boots here. So we're going to skip that. Since I have time to walk around town and kind of uh, waste some time, I figure let's make some more money. Uh, we're going to stop into the pawn shop here. Everything that we've looted, like, a long time ago is now sellable. So I'm going to offload all of this into my inventory. I'll probably move some things around. Grab that. Deer antlers. Um, take either one of those is worth the same amount. That's about all we can take. Perfect. Go sell this stuff all to general goods merchants. All right. So it's something to sell, sell, sell. Uh, let's see. Can't sell that. Sell, 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 sell. He's got 2,000 gold more. I don't recall all the shops that I stole from, so I'm going to walk around a little bit. Again, we have to wait around until the shops uh, close up. Basically after evening, so we can talk to Kermit and see if he's got any new upgrades for us. Plus the jewelers. I got to go down there first. All right, Mr. Jeweler, Latar. Let's see. Do you have anything? Well, that's not bad. That's a uh, magical power and health. We have miracle chance and health. Magic power energy. So we already got that. Um, what's this one? Magic power, maximum health, energy. Don't really need energy. I'm thinking either the miracle chance one or the magical power. Let me take a quick gander. Um, what do we have? We have twenty percent miracle chance with a sixty percent miracle potency and a hundred for hundred and fifty percent for magical power. On top of that, I have multiplier. I, I think it's a multiplier. I don't really know how this affects us. But there's electromagnetic power of 60%. Now, I don't want to get close to enemies anymore. Like, that's just a no-go. So I don't want to have this ring on anymore. Maybe we do the silver sapphire. It's 1,800 gold. Let's just grab it up. Take that one away. Put this one on. I'll get it enchanted. And uh, I could probably afford another ring. He does have another one, but it's it's basically the upgraded variant. Where was it? It moved on us. Is it this one? I'm blind. I'm obviously blind. Oh, there it is. No? 
Oh, I grabbed the wrong one. I'm so stupid. <laughs> so dumb. Anyway, I guess we'll go buy this up because I bought the wrong ring. I'm blind, apparently. Alright, <laughs> stupid. Well, now we got a lot of health, so that's that's cool. But our accuracy is probably taking a... Yeah, it took a nosedive. 80%. That's not great. So, whacking them with my staff is not going to be a good idea anymore. We were never going to be a staff build to begin with. Alright, so 25% Miracle. Miracle Potency, 60. 151% for Magic Power. Alright. Hopefully that's going to be good for us. Alright, now we're in the leather workings house. Uh, let's see here. Right, take this, take that. Be organized. Take, take, and take. We'll sell this to like, I don't know, probably back to the jewelers. What you selling? Sell, 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 sell. The alcohol. I'll sell that here. Why not? And the bust. Dude's got 5,000 gold. He's fine. The next bailiff up. This is going to be the, uh, the carpenter bailiff. So take, 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 and take. Pop inside the inn. Sell, 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 and yeah, no, sell it. Now the blacksmith bailiff doesn't really have a ton, but we're gonna take it all anyway. All right, back into the jewelers again, selling everything off. And at this point, I don't really care. I'm just gonna you know, sell stuff. There we go. Just to free up my inventory and the belt, I can't sell. I'll have to find somebody else. All right, Kermit's now uh, his shop's now opened up. Let's take a look. Do you have any boots for me? There's the Mage Hunter boots. What's these ones? These are fancy boots. Oh, don't buy that. Um, Mage Hunter. It's slightly less defense than our uh, soldier's boots. Bleed's better. Move is better. It gives us dodge. Skill energy cost, spell energy cost. Well, also giving us a heck of a lot of uh, nature and magical resistance. Um, is that the boots I really wanted, though? I may just have to wait for... No, you know what? We have the money, and we're going to be making a lot more. It's 2,000 gold for this. Because realistically, I'll probably replace the Battle Mage gloves with something else. If... You know, the shop has it in store. And probably end up replacing this. So they're not terrible, honestly. Alright, we're back at the potions vendor yet again. So go ahead and buy up three enchanting scrolls. Ta-da! Let's see if we get lucky. We've got health restoration. We've got move resistance. And we've got move resistance. Alright, next up is to come over here talk to Bird. Pick up the two maps. We haven't read these yet. Uh, the first one, that's a human tier four, I believe. I'm just gonna look around the map, see if there's anything else that we had uncovered. <laughs> Honestly, nope. <laughs> Go figure, all right, well, uh, let's use the next one. And uh, two undead ruins over here. Interesting, I don't wanna go there. Um, should we go to Manshire, buy some more maps, and then pop up here to the Rotten Willow, buy some more maps, and then ultimately go to Osbrook to get some more? Now that we're back in Manshire, I'm going to sell these maps, and apparently they sell pretty good to the priest. 135 and 90. And we can pick up one enchanting scroll. What do we want to replace? Health restoration, move resistance. Let me take a look at my character menu. How much move res do we have? Uh, 40%, so no control, but pretty decent move res. That's a knockbacks, immobilization, and stagger. You know what, chat? You know what I just realized? You know, we fought the Manticore, and I put my control res up. I was incorrect. I should have got my move res up. That was what was... Okay, so I screwed up. <laughs> uh, it was uh, move resistance, not control resistance that was the issue. My bad. Though we did get stunned, but yeah, the, the immobilization is what really got us. Okay. So the governor's up next. I'm going to buy two maps again. Use 
what do we uncover? Absolutely nothing. Uh, let's see, next one, use. Again, no clue what this is. And nothing else. Is that a monastery? It's a sacred ruin. Okay, what's this one? LeBron's Manor. So we know what LeBron's Manor looks like now. It's just like a house connected with a house. Looks like a little silo and a little a shed. So I got to keep that in mind for future reference. I'm pretty sure it's humans. I could probably, again, I could go down there. Um, Still investigating. I'm going to go again up to the Rotten Willow and then over to Bryn. I mean, Osberg. All right, one eye Wigmar. We need two maps. Oh, we already know that one. This one gives us, again, absolutely no information that I don't already know. That's fantastic. All right, final stop is here in Osbrook, and go figure, he's already got a map that we've read. So, I was hoping he would uncover this corner up here. A hive, a sacred ruin, a wolf trail. Again, I, I honestly don't know which is going to be the easiest place to go into. That's an impregnable fort. This one's probably the lesser of the two. Wow. Okay. <laughs> My options are very limited, it looks like. Um. Okay. I think we go back to Bryn. We'll head over here. All right, y'all. So I'm ready to go. I uh, got a priest buff. I got the vigor all maxed out there. Uh, look at our inventory. I got two nets. We have some elven mud, some healing supplies. Wish me luck. Uh, again, we're heading over here. I'm not too sure. This looks like it might be humans. It could be a monastery with the fact that it's all blocked in like that. But even human forts look the same. So I don't know. They all look the same to me. All right, we just arrived and it is a human dungeon. So this is going to be Fort Runfost. Um, so we'll have to see how many archers we contend with just outside of this, uh, this, this dungeon here. All right, we already have an archer right off the bat. It's gonna be fun. Um, he's got more range than we do. Good, he's dead. Did I just alert somebody else? It wouldn't be a bad idea. So the next thing I'm going to go into, just so you guys have an idea what we're looking for, uh, we're going to go into perception. We need to get that up to level 15 so we can get a little bit more range, more vision. And honestly, the, the crit chance are so nice too. So first enemy's down. This guy's just outside of range. Zap. Immobilize. There's an archer trying to kill us. I heard him reload. There he is. This guy's almost dead. Good crit. Archer boy's next. Nice knockback. There we go. He's dead. Good deal. Not going too bad right now. So we got two more guys coming our way. Wait again. One of those is going to be a mage. Okay. Let's um, slap these guys with number zero. Chain lightning the both of them. Killed both of those guys. Okay. Chain lightning again. Good job. Zero. Six. He's dead. Ha <laughs> ha! This is not so bad. I'm liking it. We just took all those guys out pretty quickly. 
I don't know what we're facing again. Oh, he's not so bad. Oh, I freaking completely aimed at the ground there. Zero. Get those immobilization chances up. It's okay. Maybe. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> and I'm not even running out of energy. It's so amazing. Who's this? Okay, easy guy. Wait again. Oh, he's still out of range. Okay. Zero. Good crit. Nice. Next enemy up. Five. He's out of range. Zap. Mobilize. Zap again. Fall back. Fall back. Wait. Oh shit, they didn't. Can I hit this guy, please? Damn it. Well, that guy's dead. Let's fall back. Good crit. Okay, he's down. Apply that dude. Fall back. Immobilize. Eight. Good, we crit. May as well use my agility, or sorry, perception point. Next ability point up. Um, we definitely need this one to get ball lightning, so I got to get it right now. It's not going to help us right here. But. Ooh, ow, my guy. I was hoping that, oh my God, it made me bleed again. What's my bleed risk? Probably very low. There we go. Jeez Louise, Look, there's the archer issue. Um, I only brought not very many bandages. I have got one left. Yeah, we discovered a trap right off the bat. There's an open door and an open area up here. This is not a good starting point. What we'll do is pop number nine. Good. Even better. <laughs> did somebody else try to shoot at me? Oh, shoot. Yeah, they did. Zero for immobilization. Good crit. He's dead. Good deal. All right, the first section up is now clear. Let's go over here. We got two guys. Um, Nice crit. Good job. Let's go. This is going to be dead end. All right. Awesome. I have to keep in mind, I have these nets, so I have four of them. Nobody should get close to me. Seven, five, unlock the door. We've hit them. Zero. Fall back. Hit him again. I believe this guy has a rush. Skull Crusher. 
That is three tiles. One, a two, a three. Pop them with number eight. No crits. And hopefully number six kills them. It did. We'll go up here. They're right behind that door. Absolutely right behind that door. Okay. Seven, five, wait. I'm probably going to net this dude. Knocked him back. Zero. You have a rush. You do. You can technically reach me from there. And he's dead. I think it was a good idea to go for those, uh, the miracle chance. At south. Again, seven, five. Unlock the door. Shit. Nice. Barely did any damage. And he dropped some uh, Stardust, which is pretty cool. I'll grab that. Why not? This is a big room. Possibly boss room? If they notice me from this far away? Or it's just an archer. Uh, five, seven. Wait. Pick the lock. It's an archer. Oh, okay. Yep, kind of figured. Kind of figured that's going to suck. And he's going to be able to range us pretty easily. Shits and ladders. Oh, boy. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, my God. The crossbow dudes aren't so bad because, like, they have, like, they have to, they have to reload. This dude here, however, I, maybe I can wait for him to get to me. It depends if he's coming or somebody else. Either way, I have a net. I'm I, not terrible right now in a terrible situation, so. Um, pop that. Pop this. We'll see what we're working with, chat. Okay, no worries. Mobilization. Should be 100% knockback, but it was not. He's dead regardless. Let's just sit here. Let's wait for this guy to come to us. Somebody else is coming though, I think. Ooh, good, good, good. You'd be right in range. Let him fall back. Fall back, fall back. Shit, just out of range. Oh god, there's two archers. Holy shit. Okay, first one's down. Do this, wait. Wait again. There we go. Nicely done, okay. <laughs> Woo! Oh, we, ma ma we manipulated the AI pretty well there. Since I got all this new gear on. I have 26% <laughs> spell energy cost. <laughs> what the hell? Cost nine energy. Three. Three. <laughs> I shouldn't have an issue with energy at all. God dang. That guy's not horrible. Seven. Five. Pop zero. A door opened up somewhere. I don't know where. He's dead. Aha, right over here. Let's see what we're working with. Uh, 
Pop zero. Hopefully get those immobilization chances. Oh yeah, it's gonna be easy. When your jolt's hitting for 36s, I mean, you should be fine. GG. Okay, uh, I'm gonna pop number nine. Fall back. Good crits. Zero. There we go. He's dead. There's a basement. There we go. I'm gonna head straight down. Actually, uh, just in case I have to run away from somebody. Right, there's nobody else up here. Good, good. Got a knockback. He's dead. Mage. We'll fall back, fall back. Head back up here. There we go. We're going to hit both of them. Good job, damage. Seven, five. I think fatigue's starting to rack up a little bit, but it's only 1%. Excuse me? Oh no, that's an archer. The fact that he can use that shit behind walls irks me to no end. Okay. Nice! Killed him! What'd he drop? Mind wart? He's up still 1%. Whoever's behind this door knows we're here. So seven, five. Unlock. Another archer. Oh, nice. Deal. He's dead. Good job, me. <laughs> Let's continue on. Now, um, the boss could be up there. Or it could be over here. We shall see. Found him. Uh, we have a mage hunter, which is going to be a pain in the ass. Want to do this right now, chat? Is this what we want to do? We want to fight everybody off? I got like a... Here, you know what? Exit off of there. They don't know I'm here yet. I'm gonna fall back. They're probably going to be right next to the door now. So... Here's what I'm thinking. that there drink a little bit of elven mud um what's my sanity at 95 i could definitely pop um the stardust i'm gonna be completely fine but you know what let's go up north let's take out what's up there so i don't aggro multiple enemies because i am gonna shout to try to get them to come through that door We'll see what happens. Hopefully it works in my favor. There was a trap right there. Oh, goodness. Somebody stepped on a trap here, so whoever it is, it's probably this guy. Nope. Somebody else. Z 
Zero. Six. Eight. Nicely done. Then we have a library. Who's that? Okay, Rogi boy. Oh my god, damn it. Okay, Rogue's dead. That's not gonna help me, is it? He's dead. You the only one in here? Alright, good deal, good deal, good deal. So it's just gonna be the boss and me, or the, well, not necessarily the boss and me, but boss and a couple more guys. Now they should die pretty easily is my hope because they all have heavy armor except for the mage hunter. He's gonna be a pain in the ass. I don't have a good way to take him on. Um, outside of maybe, you know, netting him and running away. Could just attack this door. <laughs> yeah, attack the door. It's going to do two damage each time. There we go. So it worked. Okay, so... Five. What does he got? Just to make sure I'm right. That's four tile range. Seal of cleansing. Which he will cleanse off any of our buffs. Which is, it's fine. Nice knockback. Okay. I'm gonna try zero. Now we need to fall back. Two more turns of Seal of Reflection. Thirty nine percent. Good job. Okay. Let's see number six. Oh shit. I think he was gonna die. <laughs> oh god, no. No! You're not supposed to be there, bro. He can he's dazed, so he can't do anything. He's he's still far, far away. Please. Stun. It was not a stun. We're running away. That helps. Keep wasting your energy, bro. Keep wasting. You're down to 57 energy. See if I care, my guy. At four turns. Three. Two. He wasted his energy again. I'm going to uh, rush away. So, number two, go here. Zero. 
zero. Three percent. Boom, baby. Let's go. All right, let's uh, look inside of this room again. So we took out the uh, the mage hunter. Definitely had a high magic res. That's for sure. But those nets came in clutch. What are the spoils of war? Oh, I like this one. That's not the one. That's the wrong. Damn it. I was hoping it was the other one that gave us a buff. Eight. Uh, this is five. We'll take it. Don't need the helmet. Take the gold. Man, that stinks. I could buy more nets. Oh, pretty cool, though. Cupboard's gonna be empty. Now we can eat up a little bit more, too. That's a potato. Maybe not. Oh, we got Pyro 4. Fantastic. Reed. We've leveled again, chat. We've done it. Another point into perception. And ball lightning. Now I don't feel as scared to uh, to confront enemies. We also have a two-handed axe treaty right here. Pick that up somewhere, maybe. Uh, reorder. I should have bought another uh, another backpack since I left my other one behind inside of the dungeon. It was bound to happen eventually, chat. Wardrobe. Yeah, I'll leave that. Yeah, the library got an enchanting scroll. Anything worth enchanting? Health restoration, crushing resistance. Move. Let's get rid of the crush. Try to get something better. Piercing resistance, I guess. Actually, piercing against the archers. Not so terrible, right? Uh, Warfare 2. Read. Take that book. And a folio. Yeah, we'll take it. Cupboard's empty. Inside the chest, we get some gold and an earring. Our gold's now filled up, so we can't carry any more because I didn't, uh, I brought way too much money with me. Uh, that's worth a hundred. Take it. Next room up, we have some more gold bits. Worth a hundred gold. Inside the nightstand, or the wardrobe, nothing. Nightstand is more crowns. <laughs> I have a feeling that I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna be filled up. Drop the splint. Oh boy, another another book to read. Um, shoots and ladders. I came over prepared, as always. And another book. That one's not worth taking. Silk can stay behind. Wardrobe's empty inside the chest. More gold that I can't carry. But whatever. We'll leave that gold behind. It's fine. This was 150. I will drop this. Take the 150. Technically speaking, this gold is worth more than what I have in my inventory right now. Uh, more gold, which you can't carry. Drop, take. Okay, so we do have a room that we haven't explored yet, so I gotta be very cautious. Seven, five, nine, just in case there's a spot. Okay. Pick. I saw you. No knockback. I am going to rush away. You know what? Ball lightning time. Let's try it out. Ball lightning right there. Ooh, lots of damage. Let me just wait. How much ball lightning do? Ball lightning was 10. Brigand is stunned for 12 and he loses health for 6. Lots of AoE damage there, which is really good to see. I think he was the only one in here. Absolutely was. Okay. Nightstand, more gold inside of the wardrobe. It's gonna be empty. Nightstand empty. 
And just a couple more night stands, really. Empty. We've already looted that one. And we looted the one up there. Cool. That is it. Dungeon completed. Let's head back to town. Offload our inventory. Buy a backpack for crying out loud. And uh, yeah, we're going to end today's episode. And we'll knock out some more tier tier fours in the, in the following episodes. All right. Now that we're back in town, let's go ahead and sell off the, uh, the valuable items. There wasn't very many. I mean, most of the stuff we picked up. Ended up being um, books in gold coins. So now we can go sell the books. And then sell, sell, sell. Oh, I didn't read that one. It's fine. Whatever. <laughs> My bad. All right, back to Toxic Kermit. Let's see. The backpack's worth. Well, I don't have enough space. That should work. All right, backpack's on. Fantastic. We finally have a backpack again, chat. So, so happy about that. All right, y'all, that'll do it for today's episode. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this channel with your friends and your family. I'll catch y'all next time. Bye.